Hello, hello. Oh, hi, everybody. Why do I look crooked? Am I crooked? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, maybe I lost a... Did I lose a weight? Honey, do you remember if there was a weight on the top one or was it just this, the thing was open? Like the top weight, you know how it's small? Am I missing a weight? Well, it's just the screw, so I don't know if it fell off. Let me check in here. Oops. Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Christmas Eve. How's everybody doing? We're cooking today, so I look crazy. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Luckily, we have extra weight. I don't know if it rolled out here or not. It looks okay. I don't think it had one. I could be totally wrong, but hi everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. We've got Reese and Andrew, Michael, Natalie, Todd, Lee. We are cooking like a mad woman today. So Sienna, welcome. Ooh, Ponset, oh, the Pala book. You go, Martha. Hey, Sam. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Mighty. Jesse. Johanna. Welcome, welcome home, everyone. We are hanging out in the village over here for a second. Uh, Riley Ray is crying. You can hear her. She's, because I'm a whole five feet away from her. Okay. I don't see a weight here. I might have lost it. Okay. Hope everybody's having a good New Year's Eve. I hope you're done wrapping presents and everything. I'm going to give you my OOTD. We're wearing our Millennial Pink Spirit jersey. I got some cute new leggings and some pink sneakers. More leggings and more sneakers. There you go. <laughs> That's our OOTD for the day today. It's a little warmer today, but it's cool in the house, so there you go. I switched back to the pink armband. It's just easier. But we are going to cook and show you what's going on. New Year's Eve. I know. I keep saying New Year's Eve. Uh, not ready for that. But yeah, Christmas Village. I know you guys remember the Christmas Village. I did a stream here when we put it up for Thanksgiving. So there's a whole Christmas village going on. Riley's over there. She's in prison. There's the tree. All right. We got to get working. There's a lot of cooking to be done. All right. Don't mind the mess. We will start. Um, why don't we do the mac and cheese first? Because it's easy. I don't know. They're both easy. Okay. So... I'll give you like kind of run through the ingredients really quick because I've already been like pre-cooking. It's a little bit of a train wreck over here, so don't mind me. Um, Rob's going to come help me film here in a second. I'm watching Christmas Chronicles. So you're going to start off with some bean thread vermicelli noodles. Um, they're going to be like this. So they're going to look like this. All you're going to do is soak them in some hot water. And that's how they go. I've got my kawatapi ready already for the mac and cheese here so i pre-cooked all of that i cook it in chicken broth it's just this the corkscrews cavatappi pasta or whatever so oh we're there's riley ray say hi to the people ray 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 say hi to the ohana now come here why well, you look crazy all right there we go so i'm using that Oop. I'm using that box as my quick trash can while I cook. I sliced up some onions, lemon, we're gonna use for garnish. This is two bags, so I'm, this is one portion, that's another portion. Rob has shredded the rotisserie chicken over here. Cornbread casserole done. Mom did all of her side dishes this morning. We're gonna need an extra bowl, aluminum, aluminum bowl. Um, Secret ingredient, your caldo de pollo chicken flavor bouillon. So that's on the list. Everything is in the description box if you guys want to look at it. You need a big wok that's going to be for 
meal to make. It's really not that expensive. It's a dollar sixty nine for a thing of noodles. Um, yeah, this is this my Starbucks. I made some Starbucks over there. <laughs> we have Pike Place roast, of course. Yeah, a Starbucks at home. <laughs> oh, hey Max, how you doing? How are you? I hope you're having a good New Year's, a uh, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. I don't want to keep saying that. I'm ready to party. Um, the vegetables. I'm gonna go grab them in here. I don't know what happened with the. Oh, it's over there. I took it out already. If you have any kind of stir fry mix. I know. I We're at home. There should be no dead spots. Mom has fiber. Yeah, you tell me what to do, and I'll do it. You film. No, you need to. F I can't tell you what to do because I cook by taste. I don't. You know that. You can't taste if you're filming. <sighs> I don't want to stress you out. No, it's I Christmas Eve. I want to stress you out. No, I don't. I know what to do. I don't have to tell you. I just need to do it. So I don't know why I have to tell somebody what to do. Like if I had a tripod, I just tripod, but I don't have a tripod. So well, this sets up fine. Where, where, yeah, um, but somebody has to hold it. I'm saying if you don't want to hold it, if I had a tripod, I would just tripod them on the corner. Keep an eye out on that. Make sure it's at thirty because I don't know. We have fiber here. You shouldn't have dead spots. I don't know why. I mean, I can read with the phone, so you're just being stupid. Is it at 30? Yeah. Okay, you're going to be way too far, but... Uh, Alright. That's a lot of macaroni. Well, I got to choose. It's double batch of everything. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Reese. Alright, are we good? No, we have fiber in this house. Like, the, the signal is fire. Apparently, there's just dead spots in this kitchen. I don't know why. Or because I don't have 5G on my 5G phone. That might be it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, my VPN is now on. It should work. It's just weird. Hi, right, Lonnie. I like think we got fiber in the house, so it should be good to go. Alright, so I got. Yes, Regina, it is. She gets worked up when she cooks. No, I don't want to film. I want to cook because I don't. I can't tell you what to do. It's going to take me too long. You just film, stay over there. I'd love to cook. Unless you want to cook, I ain't going to tell you what to do. <laughs> On your own. <laughs> you know, I just do it. Hi, right, Francisco. I'm gonna set this down for a second so I can flip this around because they need to hear you. Yeah, I need the mic on just because I don't want to pick up the TV. Yeah, here, I got it. I got it. Okay. I know how to flip it. Where is mom 
Mom's house. Cook everything. Tomorrow. Okay, and we're cooking some ponce and some macaroni and cheese. Yep, the, the, everything's on the description box. There's and Lonnie, I flipped. I just flipped the mic around, so you can probably hear. It can you now. hear me now? Yeah. Okay, we should be good. You should be able to hear me. I'm just trying to cut out the CD so we can't, you can't hear it yet. I want to get copyrighted on a home stream? That would be really bad. Everybody says hi, Riley. She's right there. All right, we're gonna cut the mac and cheese first. Have your pans ready. I, everything I'm cooking is double. I'm doing a double portion, so you'd only do a single of everything. You don't need everything. You don't need but one of each thing. Everything is in the description box. Both ingredients for the ponce and the mac and cheese. All right, three eggs. It's gonna go in here, and we're set. Yep. We're gonna need a cup of whole milk, mostly, kinda, sorta. Need a cup of heavy cream. Actually, I need two because I'm double portioned it. So don't mind me. I'm doubling everything because I make I'm making two of. I'm making a double portion. Sliding shells in California, but moved and didn't have enough room, so they don't have the slides no more. What? Joanne says hi from Lake Mary, Florida. Oh, hi, Joanne. All right. Alrighty. You need three eggs. Do I have to do six? Because it's double. Thank God we had eggs normally. Oh, thank you, Christy. Super chat. All right, we're going to cook. Ready at corn. Merry Christmas to you too, Christy. Thank you so much. So I'm Jason all the... Jason says you've got the good fish sauce. Yeah, girl. Hey, a Martha too? I'm like, look at all the Ohana that knows Jason all about... Said that. Oh, Jason? Yes. He's Vietnamese. He should know. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, Christy. We appreciate your support. Yeah, well, I forgot the scallions, though, so it may not be as green today because I forgot scallions. We even went to Publix already, and I totally forgot my ingredient. I just need to refer to this description box. I will save it for next year because we do this every year. This is probably the third annual cook with gin. I think it is the third year that we've done this, so <laughs> look at us go. Um, and yes, the chimes, my mom's got two grandfather clocks. Bing, 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 bing. And they go off all the time. Where's the whisk? Oh, uh, mom says only one is chiming, though, so you only hear one of them. Yeah, and I use the long cap. They do go off every 15 minutes, so you'll hear it a couple more times. Hey, there you go. It's a natural born timer. So this is the custard that I use for my mac and cheese. Herschel. Bonnie says, first time seeing you this year. Aww. Oh, because I mean I'm always behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. She had a little crazy looking today because she's took a nap. This is what happens when I try to get up early. I'm like, oh, we're all discombobulated today. Well, Rob gets up early anyway, but we're just, we were tired. Just haven't finished wrapping gifts, so, you know, I'll be those last minute people. But cooking is most important. So we need everything for tomorrow, that way we're ready, you know? We just have to pre-cook everything, or you just gotta heat up in the morning when we go. We're going over to his brother's for Christmas, so that'll be fun. Jason says he's Cambodian again. The Cambodian, yes. Yes, even better. Uh, now I'll think of you every time I go on the Jungle Cruise, the Mekong River. I've never had authentic Cambodian food, then we need to go. And, and when you come down. See, Jason knows all the good places to eat in Florida. Oh, and we got to show him our lunch. We had this for lunch. 
the show pal, the steamed pork asado buns. Rob will eat a whole bag. You just, they're like steamed pork bound, but char, char shoe bow, bow, they're bow, they're bow. You just microwave them and stuff them in your face. They're so good. <laughs> Good. All right, so you do all the custard together. Mine is a double portion. Everything is in the description box. Three eggs, one cup milk, one cup whole milk, one cup heavy cream. Um, all right, so it's just, it basically to keep your mac and cheese together. So it doesn't, like it's a true mac and cheese. It's not gonna be all falling apart and stuff. All right, so all that's- right, James. Merry Christmas, Heidi. That's done, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab a bowl, like so. It's like a double boiler. Oh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. More is more. <laughs> it's just to hold it together. It doesn't have to be like all of that. Now, what was that you just put in there? That was that well, cream. cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just got to heat up because it's just to, to set that. I don't even use the whole thing. I think it's too much, but... We'll see, we'll see. It depends on the noodle, if it eats it up. I just need it warmed up, it's good. So you're gonna put it like a double boiler, so you're gonna break out a stick of butter. Yes, I am Paula Dean, a whole stick of butter. <laughs> this is Southern style. There's nothing healthy about this meal. This is just delicious. Right, Riley? Just delicious. Where's my cochillo? I need a good knife. Disney Mitch in the house. Ooh, Disney Mitch. All right. Merry Christmas Eve. You need a stick and a half of butter, so don't judge me with your judgy eyes. There's nothing healthy about this meal. I've never said this. So it's kind of like a double boil. No problem, Martha. We hope you like the recipes. Yep. It's not that this is a mac and cheese. I use Kawatapi. And thank you, Martha. Thank you for that super chat train. All right. Another super chat. Whoop, whoop. Merry Christmas, one and all. We can cook together, or you can try. I'm telling you, if you make this mac and cheese, everybody's going to love you. Everybody Chloe says, Christmas Story Marathon on right now. I'll be watching that at some point later today, tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, I typically watch that every year. We just finished Christmas Chronicles. We're adding that never, into our year never, rotation. Right, you've never even seen the uh, Oh Wonderful Night yet. They talk about that. I'll poke your eye out, I'll poke your eye out. You're talking about the Christmas story. Whoop. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I am, it's water. Just wanna make sure it don't dry out because it's like a double boiler, so. You just put like an aluminum pan and you're gonna melt all the butter. I got a lot of noodles, so. Actually, I'm double portioning it, so. I don't know. Now you're putting that whole stick of butter in there, right? Yeah, the whole stick of butter. It's Southern style mac and cheese. They ain't nothing healthy about this recipe. It's just delicious. The whole stick of butter. It's a lot gold. of macaroni, too, though. Yeah, but I have to do it double portion. Mom made chest two of everything. A whole, a whole pan of it's gonna stay at your brother, so. Mac and cheese was so popular for Thanksgiving. Yeah, mom wants some, Peter wants some. I guess <laughs> Mom says we're not allowed to take it home, she wants it here. Oh, uh, so we're leaving a whole pan here. Got it, yep, exactly. So they're gonna keep the pan that we take. So we Jen's mac and cheese was fairly popular at Thanksgiving. Yeah, poor brother of his. Ricky usually makes mac and cheese, but. His wife and child were like, no, Daddy, this is better. I was like, ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then, yeah, now it's just permanent. And that was just like a, we cobbled everything together with what Mom had. So, yeah, don't worry. We got room for more. We're going to add more. It's like a five cheese mac and cheese. So, there's also... Sour cream, which I saw was in here. There's sour cream in there. What, Mom? Yeah, I got it. Okay. We need sour cream. And you're going to need uh, cream chiz. I'm sure Mom has more cream chiz somewhere. We got sour cream, though. We should be good. Uh, you didn't tell me 
It's okay. Well, we got sour cream. Well, I used cream cheese because we ran out of sour cream, but I think we're good this time. You got plenty. Yeah, I got some. We have. I used cream cheese a little bit because we ran out of sour cream, but we're good now. We got plenty, so we should be I. Right. So I'm doubling everything. Is that gonna look this crazy? But I use a lot of butter, so it's gonna be. If you just double the recipe, if you're doing double portions. We use a lot of carry gold everywhere we go. It's the only kind of butter we use. <laughs> it's so good. The Irish butter. So you just kind of put it in a big pan. I might even, well, it won't probably work as good. I might have to do it two separate. Ruby says it smells good in mama's kitchen. What's cooking? Yep, mac and cheese. Right now we're doing the mac and cheese. We got some poncet that we're going to be making later. She's just melting that butter in there on that double boiler thing she got set up. Yep, I'm just, I already washed my hands. I'm gonna use my hands, so, sorry. I'm gonna add more, I'm trying to just eyeball too because I have double portion, it's double. I wanna make sure, that's about right, ain't it? It looks about the same. Should put more in there, equal-ish. This is a bigger bowl too. Looks about the same? Mm, more. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I'll go with that. All right, that's gonna be like ours. I don't have to cook it like separately just because I don't got You don't have the space. I don't have the space. Woo. So it's almost like, yeah, it's just like a double boiler. I love. This is, okay. Yeah, I guess I could use the mitt because I need to hold the thing. It's hot. It gets hot, yeah, it's aluminum. So it doesn't aluminium. Like aluminium, yeah. Riley. She's over there licking the butter wrapper. Oh God. All right. And then you're gonna put a little bit of that custard. I might need two. Oh, goodness. All right. Oh no, Lee. I'm. Fairly certain that Magic Kingdom is open tomorrow. Oh yeah, everything's open. Disney yeah, never everything's closes. open. But we're we're visiting mom for the holiday. Uh, we'll be she won't be back to Disney until next week. Tuesday. Sorry, I'm using that as a trash bin. So don't right. mind us. It's just. She's like, I'm not doing nothing, Dad. I'm not doing nothing. All right, we're gonna use some of this sour cream. You're probably gonna need. There's one more, right? Or is there two? There's two sour cream, Mama. I saw them in here. Yeah. Or what we have, and I'll split what we have. It's okay. I used one. Okay, you used yeah part of one, so I'll split this in half for two portions. I'll make sure. Riley, go lay down. Go on. So you, you should have like a whole one. one. She's not gonna lay down. There's food, honey. works really good because it holds the um makes it like this is the extra this is the secret to the creaminess of my mac and cheese is the milk the heavy cream and also says they need smell of oh man yeah we may haven't added cheese yet just saying all right now the cheese is five cheeses because i don't do three cheese i don't do any more is more because you're going to need eight cups of cheese too. we got a lot of cheese in the house we're going to make it happen so we'll do parmesan mozzarella colby jack i'm going to say cheddar I think it was 
pork cheddar in there. There's so much cheese in there. You need a lot of cheese. Cheese is important. It's mac and cheese. <laughs> Says, is there more Parmesan? She needs Parmesan and she needs cheddar. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I saw it on the bottom. And I'm gonna use this. What I did last time is like use what you got. If I need cheddar too, I'm gonna have to shred this cheddar or just slice this even better. Okay. You just kind of use all the cheese that you got because that's what we did. Whatever cheese you want to use, you just put it in there. You can never have too many. <laughs> too much cheese. The shredded too, though. Ah. Is the only bit that we have the slices? Yeah. Do you not know how to open cheese slices? I'm guessing not from the way you just ripped that off like it was a perforated package. I did. <laughs> I'm just trying to use what's there. Try to uh, use the old cheese first because you know, just use it. Whoop. Is it getting too heavy? There you go. Doesn't need to be boiling, it just needs to be on low. Now well, that's not melting as good as I'd like it to. It will though. Alright, we'll get to the shredded cheese hoist. Get your nose out of the butter on this thing. Alright, we'll start with the Parmesan, because Parmesan is already we'll do the shredded cheese first. Hey, Thanksgiving, it came out so good and it was just cobbled together. If it isn't open. Sorry. Okie dokie. Don't need to be. We're just pouring it in. Jesus. One, because it's a lot of eight cups of cheese. So <laughs> just keep putting the cheese in there, y'all. More cheese, please. That's a Parmesan. Ooh, it's looking good already. Parmesan, Parmesan. That's, I mean, it's really easy. That's kind of the gist of it all. Once you've got the noodles cooked, you just gotta, the key is to keep adding one at a time you know, one cheese at a time and then blending it really well and having the custard. The custard really helps you mix all the cheese together and the sour cream adds a little punch, a little something extra. Um, I do a little bit more of the caldo de pollo. I put the sucker in everything. Just a little couple of dashes, a little pepper. And then paprika, because paprika doesn't really taste like anything. It's just color. And that's what we need. Where is my paprika in this hair? Mom had the paprika. I used it. Check that one to see if the paprika's in there, honey. Red paprika. Caraway. It's I know she has it because up oh, there it is. Hiding from me. Paprika. Paprika. in the paprika. Yeah, it's just color. It adds color. And we'll use it again at the end when we bake. I got parsley too, because I am gonna use the parsley. And I forgot about the garlic spread seasoning, the Johnny's. We use this, I use this for everything. You can buy this for you can make garlic bread with it, but it's really good on like everything. Couple of dashes. <laughs> I cook by taste and like habit. I don't measure anything. That's why it's hard. <laughs> I promise you it's gonna taste good. All right. So mix it all up. There you go, the Velveeta's melted now. This is it. the first time I actually used the, the pasta fork, this or pasta ladle. It's working better because it's actually not sticking 
to the ladle. Otherwise, you'll get a whole big crust of cheese in there. All right, that's gonna need a little bit more of the custard. So you just pour a little bit more in there if it's feeling a little too thick. All right, we did a whole stick of butter. And then we will do, is this all the cheese that we have? Mm -hmm. Okay. More Parmesan. We, got, we did Parmesan already. We got more Parmesan. I need some for the end too. Need cheddar. Yeah, no, I need cheddar. We only have one cheddar. Wow. Well, we also have these cheddar yeah, slices. We have a, a block of yeah, I saw them. Okay, I'll use whatever we got. It's fine. And then we'll do the cheddar next. This is just a bag of sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Cheese, cheese, more cheese, please. It ain't no joke. Delicious. I want to make sure we don't run out of water. Can you hand me a pot um, holder thing? Because you got to keep adding water. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Make sure you don't. I lowered. Run dry. Yeah, you don't want to run dry because it'll burn. smoke or sweet paprika uh regular uh, you, uh, either one either one i have like smoked i have hungarian at home we only got regular you know, paprika I'm, I'm filming i'm not supervising <laughs> but i'm they, just holding the cow uh, are you watching it the can i no, see it more, the cowbell uh, somebody said more cowbell more cowbell i'm holding the camera the camera all right, we're melty, we're melty. It's delicious. Oh yeah, it's bubbling, it's brewing. Yeah, my, she eyeballs everything. Yeah, that's how I cook the, true cooks don't measure. They just know. Well, that's, it, I think most of why is on there, like how many packets are these? <laughs> I wanna say I've heard that a couple of times. It always ends up disastrous. Have I ever cooked a disastrous meal? <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Nailed It. Right, but I mean, have you ever, have, I'm, have I ever? Have I'm just saying that I've heard that from a lot of those chefs and it doesn't work out too well Right, for them. but they don't got a palate like mine. I like to eat, so I know what to No, I haven't. You always make me hold the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. all melted there and I think I just need one bag we did farm we need the moths I have so much farm 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 we got Colby Jack we'll do a little bit of mozzarella I did a little bit of the Velveeta because I just got to split it up between the two orders okay mozzarella Mozzarella is the next cheese. Yeah, that's Riley Ray's uh, spirit jersey. Mom got one to match. Yeah, it was from last year. I like that one better. Now she's putting in the uh, Kobe Jack. The Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack left me lots of hair today. I was so excited. Oh my god. Ooh. Riley wasn't even bothered. I don't think she even knows what a cat is. But she's like, huh? What's going on, Mama? More cheese, please. Yeah, put whatever cheese that you like. I mean, it never hurts anyone's feelings when you have more cheese. I mean, am I right? It's mac and cheese. I think I'm gonna go through all my custard after all. I always say I'm never gonna use it and I use the whole thing. <laughs> 
because you're going to need it when you lay it on the casserole. So, all right, you save the other cheese because you're going to lay it in the casserole and I'm um, going to layer it. Keep an eye out, Heidi. There we go. Looking all creamy. Can they zoom? Are you getting the zoom on this? I need to watch me. You can just zoom the camera. I got a tell time zoom on that sucker. That's it's all creamy. You can hear it just delicious. Oh yeah, it's ready. Okay. Pretty much. You got all the cheese you're adding in? Uh, you put cheddar in there already, right? I already did the cheddar. Oh my god, I'm tired. Service. Alright. What we're gonna do, here gonna help me. Well they can turn it's off. Everything's off. So that's ready. We're gonna lay it into this pan. So mm -hmm. I gotta do it again because I get to do it twice. You're gonna put custard on the bottom. On the pan? Ooh, I didn't grease it. Shoot. Well, you're putting the custard on it. Won't that grease it? I don't know. We still need to grease it with more butter. Trust me, it makes it taste better. More butter. Yeah, it's, it's an extra. You need to grease it. No, it's not burning, Mallory. It's on the double boiler, so it won't burn. Did you see the double boiler? Does anybody understand that here? Show them yeah, that part they, of the double boiler. They saw it. Okay, there's uh, water, like water in there, and then just an aluminum. Yeah, she just did that. Don't mind me. Watch that. Why are you watching that? They're watching you butter the pan. Yeah, but if they don't understand what a double boiler is, I would explain what it is. Because no, you don't you have to buy a double boiler. You they already saw it. You okay. showed it to them at the beginning of the stream. Right, but there are questions, obviously. People no. are asking what, no. why it's burning. No, you pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> I said, if somebody doesn't know what it is, that means it needs further clarification. You pay attention to what you're doing. I got this. All right. Because in our world, there can never be too much butter. Go ahead and just do, yeah. Yeah, just go ahead and just do, do it up because we're going to have to do the other one in a sec. And don't worry, I'm going to use it for the second batch. There are going to be no butter spillings hurt here. No okay. wasted butter. So you put a little bit of custard on the bottom. It is a custard. It's chunky, yet funky. All right, you're going to do one layer first. Hang on, let me do a little bit more. That's some stringy cheese. It's going to be good. garlic spread seasoning just a little and shablam cheese yeah see these are all slissies oh, I gotta get creative a layer of slices yeah we're just gonna do a layer of slissies you use what you got if you have shredded you use the shredded but we happen to have slissies so we're gonna have to use the slissies it is all gonna melt together. It don't make much of a difference, so. It's like a lasagna, kinda. But cheese. <laughs> a cheese sonia. Okay. It's a chisagna. Chisagna. intoxicating then you just cook it for 45 minutes on 375 bake it cook, cook bake for how long 45 minutes 
You cook it very, very al dente because you're going to cook it in the oven. Mm -hmm. So, yam noodles, you don't want them falling apart. You want them firm. So when you initially cook the macaroni, you want it to be a little bit... Bite raw. Like a little bit of bite. There's bite. You want it a little bit on the underdone side. Underdone. Because it's going to totally cook Totally, like more than al dente. Like a little bit undone. Because you're going to bake it. You don't want it so cooked that it's going to be... Like, you know, totally mushy when you get it done. Just use whatever cheese you get in the house. If you say it's more the technique and what you put in it than the actual, like, it depends on what cheese you like. We like Colby Jack, we like Parmesan, we like mozzarella, we like a lot of sharp cheddar, the sour cream and the cream cheese. I mean, use what you got. I mean, that's a good way to recycle the cheese. Oh my God. I think she's going to overflow this pan. I am. Damn. I think this pan's not going to be big enough because I think that was the bigger pan. Oh, Oh, shoot, you must, yeah, you must have hit it. Sorry. There you go. Say what you needed to say. She accidentally muted it. I don't know how, but. I did, it. I saw you hit it. Oh, I did? Yeah. When you did the stream, that was the first thing you did, was hit the mute button. Oh, because I'm trying to see if we were there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, kick me all the way out of YouTube is what I'm trying to say. There was also a stream live update, so I better go do that later. I don't got time to do that right now. That's probably why it's being weird. I'm like, Mom has fiber optic. There should be no dead spots in this house. But it's the platform. I use it because it keeps the stream. Like, I can get you back if it dies. If you use YouTube Native, it's gone forever. You have way too much trouble opening those cheese slices. I know. It shouldn't be that difficult. A cheese slice person. All right, done. And then we're going to add some parsley and paprika for color. Don't be a. No, Ruby. Rob did not hit mute. I actually saw Jen hit it. Well, when I restart it, I have to hit the button right next mm -hmm. to it. I don't make these stupid Reese apps. Reese says that's too much cheese. You don't know it till you taste it. And Mitch it. says, "Wow, you really weren't kidding about the cheese." It tastes good. It does. It's delicious. I mean, you won't know it until you eat it, and you don't even know there's this much cheese in it until you just have that creamy, creamy goodness. And you just bake it. 
I'll put it in there. We'll bake them together because we're not baking it right now, but we will be once I finish the other batch. Get that one out of your hair. All right, guys. Second verse, same as the first. Right, because now we got to move on to Ponset. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Cooking the greens. All right, what do we do? We got a butter. That butter because we ain't gonna waste no butter. That's fine. Uh, well, it's fine. I think there's enough water in there. Fire it back up, throw your butter in it. A whole stick of butter, part two. So if you're trying to redo this again, I already greased my casserole dish. What? Really? What? She's like, but mama, so much cheese. Because cheese is delicious. Oh, no, there's just not as much on this one. We'll be good. Edgar says this is cheese and mac, not the other way around. That's right. It's macaroni with a side of cheese. Or cheese, cheese with a side, with of, a macaroni. side of macaroni. I mean, you don't think how much cheese it has at the one with um, the one for homecoming is the same thing. There's a lot of cheese in that. It's good, I promise you. Once it bakes down, you won't even know it'll form because it's got to form that crust. You know, it's got to have the crust on it. No crust is no good. I don't like the fake mac and cheese, like, you know, like they have the park. It's just like craft, it's powder. I'm like, you know, I'm not into that. Just pour it from the pan because we're going to finish it anyway. Merry Christmas, Vicky. And mom is looking comfortable with her little puppers. She's all tucked under the blanket playing with her phone. With, with the puppy on my lap. Yep, and this is her Paladin cornbread casserole. That's got a and that's the cornbread cheese. casserole we made earlier, or mom made earlier. Cheryl's gonna, she's um, sending Peter home with challah bread. Mm. She baked herself and cookies, so that's imported from New York. It's gonna be good. All right, we're still cooking. It's dry now. Yeah, we just dropped to zero again. Uh, yes. 129. It, now we're back up. Okay, just, I think because the app needs to be. Just watch it. If yeah, you've got still, I'm still getting the, the chat. It's still it's still clicking. So. Oh, here, just leave it here. I'll just leave it on, and if they disappear, then you know you did. Oh, you're good. Yeah, color bread is very good. So I'll leave you right here. So if you can see them, then we're good. If you disappear, you disappear. <laughs> All right, holla. 
He makes the best French toast. I'm excited for my cookies. I told Peter don't eat them all. <laughs> They're doing the... No, Shaheen, I think that's just the light. Riley! Riley! Mama, drop a noodle. Too much cheese, I promise you. It's all going to be absorbed. Hey, Ma. Yeah. Ruby says everybody's coming over for Christmas lunch. There's going to be at least 100 people. Okay. Get on a, get on a flight. Mom There's says cheese. okay. I did use the whole thing. Don't let me lie to you. I used the whole thing of custard. Heck yeah. We got, we're doing what? what, it, what, it, what are, is it ham and turkey or what are we having for Christmas? Dinner. There better be Christmas ham. There better be Christmas ham. I know Todd's been cooking. His ham and turkey been cooked. It's ready. It's in the ice box. Y'all can keep the turkey. I want the ham. Yeah, me too. Like I don't. I'm not a big turkey fan. I eat it, but I have to make you my turkey. But I'm afraid if I make you my Alton Brown recipe, super 24 hour brine turkey, you're never gonna want to eat a Publix turkey again. Then I have to cook the turkey on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. But I have to make it one year. I think when we have Thanksgiving at our, at our house, I will make it. It's like I put get one of those five gallon drums from um, Home Depot, clean one of course, and you brine it with salt and water, and you put rosemary and cinnamon. It's Alton Brown's recipe from Food Network. That is the most moist, juicy, and delicious turkey you'll ever had in your dang life. It's so good. Because I hate turkey that's dry. I just don't like. So it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why, because I'm like, if I cook the turkey, ain't anybody going to want no Publix turkey. Well, we also don't come down for Thanksgiving every year. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time in like five years. I haven't come down, Mom, since the first two years, because I'm never off. And this is the first year I'm not doing the turkey. Yeah, like I went to, to, I think I went to the first year when we were at Alina's, and then I think one more time after that. And she said, but you come for Christmas almost every year, and this is the first year that she's not cooking the turkey. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can do it for Christmas. Because because we're ham people for Christmas. I love ham. I love honey baked ham. I want ham. Yeah, I love ham. You gotta have both. What's that? A whole ham? A whole oh honey baked ham? Yeah. Gotta have that sugar coated. Like, I love a honey baked brand honey baked ham. Like, that's Mom, my favorite ham. Mama gonna send us home with a whole ham. All right. Well, Peter wants his cut, which I'll have to drop off there on Saturday. And <laughs> he gets his own takeaway box anyway. So the mac and cheese, this was so popular. Like, honestly, you know what? It, this is a little short. We should have, like, evened it out. I haven't even baked it yet, though. It's already melting over there. Oh, my God, it looks so good. It's just from its own heat. I haven't even, like, started the oven because I'm going to bake them together. Wait till it sizzles. Like it is like ASMR. Like, psh, 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 like the, you can hear the psh, 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 of the cheese. It's so good. All right. Next cheese is the parm. That's a whole bag of cheese. Parm. You gonna melt that all in there? Yep. You can tell she's starting to get impatient because she almost just went ahead and put that whole bag of Kobe Jack in there on top of that before she melted the Parmesan. Let's not get lazy. And then she checked herself because she knew that wasn't the right thing to do. That's right. I want to wreck myself. wants your H mac and cheese now. Yeah, the recipe. Ruby says box. she's coming. She's gonna take like a hundred bowls to go and just drop them off to people on the way out. <laughs> yes, yes. Texas woman, no. 
No, it is not. No, it's not what? Keto. It's mac and cheese. Of course not. The cheese is. Cheese is the sour cream and the cream cheese is. Mm -hmm. The eggs, the milk. The only the, thing in there that's not keto is the, is the, the noodle. macaroni. Right. It's macaroni. Macaroni is not keto. It's a But tart. you might be able to find an option for it. Yeah, like maybe do the... Uh, all I found is linguine. Like the remember we bought it from the low carb bread company. It was pretty good. It tasted just like. And then there's um, soybean, but it's mainly noodles. Yeah, I you don't want soy on. on keto. No, I don't. Um, I haven't found a macaroni solid, a solid type noodle. Part. Yeah, like a macaroni, a curly, a penne, a ziti, some kind of curly noodle. It's all flat noodles or spaghetti type noodles. Somebody's gonna make it. We know Texas woman, don't worry. Uh. Yeah. It's Christmas. We don't <laughs> there's no being good on Christmas. It's the one day of the year. You have to be good on Christmas, otherwise Santa don't stop. Not food wise, I mean. I'm like, it's, that's why I said it's not keto. There's nothing healthy about this dish except for all the pasta. Butter's keto. Sour cream is keto. Cream cheese is keto. Cheese is keto. <laughs> the macaroni is not keto. Because, I mean, you can make it with cauliflower. And everybody's giving me dirty looks right now when I said cauliflower. They're like, heck no. Holly says she's not sure if Christmas macros carbs count. No. Santa Jen says said, no. Santa said you'll actually be in the naughty list if you try to eat that healthy stuff on Christmas. He ain't about that life. Alright. A little bit more garlic powder seasoning. Oh, I haven't done this yet. This is a whole new batch. I know. Hasn't been seasoned. I'm just calling it out since yes, you're not saying that. We got the there you go. Just a drizzle. Couple of dashes. <laughs> pepper, black pepper. Pepper, black pepper. Paprika. Edgar says that's a good idea for cauliflower au gratin. Yeah, you could do cauliflower if you want to do completely keto and you're being good. We're gonna have to get creative. Comes uh, from January, so I, I want to find it. Oh, the flavors! Oh, the flavors! It's good. I promise you. Except we call it flavors. Flavors, yes. Flavors. Flavors. Oh, the flavors! I think we're good. Did you do any new TikToks? Janina's asking. Nope, no new TikToks I yet. I look like I have time between last night when I ended the stream and we drove here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Except for sleeping. Unless I don't sleep, maybe. Uh, hang on. Uh, no, I haven't had time. I'm sorry. Mozzarella, but I, I, I will. Riley, we need more TikToks, sweetie. You, we need you to act crazy or something. So, mozzarella... Another bag bites the dust. All right. <laughs> the dog's trying to kill me because she will try to kill you and get underfoot. So just watch out for them little dogs. It's little dog life. Wonderful, but they just make you fluffy. <laughs> yeah, don't. It's always that saying, right? Don't bl don't blame the uh, butter for what the bread did, because the bread never the butter never hurt your feelings. It's just bread. Okay, but now we use the Aldi bread. We you love that Aldi bread. 
Peter hated it, but you like it. I mean, we eat it all the time. But Peter does not like that Aldi bread. He's like, mm. Although Peter also insists that he can't do Peter. He can't. It has, it has nothing to do with can't. It has to do with <laughs> he doesn't want to. Yeah, he doesn't want to eat keto. He's like, I'm Italian. I can't do it. Yes, he can. I know he can. He doesn't want to. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I've said. All right. It's already greased. Lay down your custard. Now we're going to... We're back at it again. Yeah, you can tell that cheese is so delicious and stringy. This might fit because there isn't as much in here. I don't know. I could be wrong. But it is a smaller pan. So you pan. also didn't put as much cheese in there. You didn't do any of the Velveeta slices or anything. Well, I'm going to just lay it because I'm tired. I'll lay it in between here. Okay. I'll use them for the in between. Oh, the cheddar. Yeah. Because I like more cheddar, actually. Cheddar is my favorite. I would do, like, sharp cheddar, all kinds of cheddar. But I'm going to lay this in the middle so it melts as a middle layer. Last time, I did use a lot of cheddar because that's what we had. We had a brick of cheddar, and I had to use the brick. How many eggs did you use in the custard? Three. Three eggs in the custard. Three huh? eggs, one cup of water, one cup of um, milk. milk. And one cup of heavy cream. Yeah. And you can thin it out with water if you need more custard. But I think is we're it, good. Is it three eggs per? Three eggs. Because you did two do two batches, remember? Yeah, so it's six custard. eggs. If you're doing a double batch, yeah, it's listed in the description, three eggs for one okay. batch. One batch is three eggs. One cup of, sh mm -hmm. of, of sugar, one cup of milk, one cup of heavy cream, and then I would definitely add maybe a smidge of, maybe half a cup of water to that. Just let it come to a boil, beat the egg, you know, so it's like a custard. It was kind of chunky, but it, it, it's what holds your mac and cheese together. It's like glue, you know, like it's going to come. says, eat your heart out, homecoming. Oh, oh yeah. And Edgar says, Art Smith who? <laughs> Well, he, he does three cheese, but actually, you know, I should cook this in an iron skillet. Do you recommend any type of casserole pan? Uh, if you have a iron skillet, I would cook it in a skillet. You want it like legit cook, southern? Cook what in a skillet? This. Bake it in the... Oh. Put it in an iron skillet like they do homecoming. Not, not this part, but this part. Oh, yeah, this, this part. Yeah, this is just any pot, and then this is just a little aluminum aluminum pan that you can get from Walmart or whatever but because it's like a double boiler the key is to make sure you don't run out of water in there mm -hmm. it's the it's the pot that I used to boil the noodles in mm -hmm. and then when I boil the noodles I don't boil them with just water I use chicken broth you know this so it absorbs the flavor so put yeah, a little well, bit of this in the water here. You want to take this? I can scoop it out. I can layer the cheese on there. You can answer some questions. And do whatever yeah, on here. sure. Well, I do that. And then now put a layer of cheese. It's cheesy time. Rob wants to go peel the cheese because I know it's, it's painful watching you do it's it. It's painful watching me pour cheese, apparently. Um, no. I mean, use what you got, mighty. My my whole thing is really use what you got. You know, if you has. If you have, that's what you got. Um, just regular Pyrex will do. It's a little chunky in there, chunky. Probably should have stored it a little better. But. Yeah, this stuff I use almost for everything I cook. I love the garlic spread seasoning and I love the food. I learned about this stuff when I worked at a restaurant in Vegas. I had one of the chefs make a to die for pineapple fried fried rice that was actually in the pineapple. I've got a really good pineapple fried rice recipe too because it's from that restaurant. I think it just helps that I like to eat. That's a big thing. And I've been in food and beverage for so long. So I've learned a lot of tips and tricks from one of you know the best chefs in the world. I've been lucky to been able to work at some of the greatest restaurants, you know, ever. Yeah, we. I would use shredded cheese if you don't. If I have slices, so we're using what we got. If you have shredded cheese, use shredded cheese. You don't got to be all crazy. Perfect. 
perfect. Yeah, exactly, Holly. The closer you get to your goal weight and you're in ketosis, well, actually, if you're in ketosis and then you try to eat bad, you'll get a migraine. Like your body's like, what? Or like Rob. Rob was dying today. He was having tummy cake. He had a whole bunch of um, sugar cookies jump into his mouth. How dare they? Rude. Said mean things about my mother. I have to teach them lessons. That's right. You actually won't get as many tummy problems if you just not eat carbs. <laughs> It's really, 80, somebody like, I don't know if it was a doctor, somebody had told me that almost 80% of the population has some sort of gluten intolerance. People just don't know. You shouldn't need, I actually had really bad heartburn back in the day that I used to have like the prescription Prevacid or Prilosec, but Prilosec is over the counter now, but it was because I didn't know it was gluten intolerant. You just take the blood test, it's like a blood test. Uh, I think there's even that kit that you could mail out or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, that's why keto works for me and also for my arthritis. So, trust me, I feel like a little fluff ball right now. But, hey, you know, food is delicious. Uh, it's weird and uneven, but you'll even it out. Um, but, yeah, it'll get rid of all those problems. A lot of the, I don't get indigestion when I'm in ketosis. I don't have any stomach problems. I do my apple cider vinegar, but I'm eating. There's no inflammation. That's what it is. It causes inflammation. But, you know, that's what it is, is that I don't have any inflammation in my stomach because I'm not eating what I'm not supposed to. But I'm going to enjoy it. We're going to go down in a blaze of glory. It's all good. Just, like, even it out so it don't look all weird. You just, okay. It's all uneven like. That's what I said. Exactly, Holly. I need to get back on the mic. I feel fluffy. I feel sluggish. I'm tired. I needed a nap. Who does that? I don't need naps. When I'm on keto, it's like running on 95 octane fuel. You thought I drank 10 cups of coffee. I actually need less coffee when I'm in ketosis. I don't need it. I got it's burning all my fat. <laughs> fat is the best fuel that you can have. It would expends nine kilocalories. Nine kilocalories versus six for a carbohydrate. I think it's nine. So it's three. So a carb is three kilocalories. Like that's how much energy a carb, like one carb exp expends, like the energy that it produces. When you're burning fat for fuel, it's nine. So yeah, that's why you feel like, woo, you feel just really good. It's just a natural, it's hard to explain unless you've been in ketosis. And then you know, like it's that like just super happy, like you're just euphoric, energetic. You just feel so good. Uh, yes, but hang on, let me do a layer, right? Yeah, let me do a seasoning though, because it needs to be on oh, the you noodle. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll do some more on top, but just because it's got to be on the noodle. It's also for color. The paprika will give it that nice burnt, like not burnt, but that golden brown, like crispy, bubbly, brownish, yellow goodness. We'll add more on top, don't worry. Okay. I think we, we evened it out pretty good. Like, as far as... <laughs> yeah, then you probably have... She's right here. Riley's always down below. Did you drop something, Mama? Did you drop something? She's making sure Daddy doesn't drop no cheese. Right, right, right? Who this sweet baby girl? Are you the sweet baby girl? Little dogs get underfoot. Just be very, oh no. <laughs> Are you a meerkat? Are you a meerkat? Apparently daddy wants more cheese. Yeah, she's a toy Australian. I think I lost a bait right here. Or did we leave it out? I'm not sure. I thought there was is one. It, is it holding it even? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I didn't. Because I knew you were saying something about, like, oh, you lost one or something. Riley Ray. All right. Then we add just more. I know it doesn't look. 
Yeah, more parsley because you need the color. Parsley and paprika on top. That's all it goes on top. So it's even. Oh, yeah, here. Paprika it up. No, no, go ahead. There you go. Yay, we're done. Stick that in? Yeah, go ahead and fire that. Well, the oven ain't fired up. But I would go ahead and fire it up while we're cooking the pancit because two big old pans. Look at all of that cheesy goodness. All right, we'll go fire it up. It's a mess. Yeah, all this stuff gotta go. We're moving on to the next thing. I ain't even done yet. If you want, you can cook. Cheese, right? Huh? Cheese is done. Yeah, we don't need no more cheese. Cheese is now retired. All right. Well. There's some Parmesan cheese left, Mom. Okay. All right. to the main event extra virgin olive oil this is a Joyce Chen walk it's massive you need a big old walk um, I'll try to link all of these items you know what I'm gonna do is tonight I will link links to all of these things anything I can find I'll go make links for y'all um, I already pre chopped my onions because again, I'm making two batches. This is just, oh, one onion. I'm going to have to do the other one. I need to cut one more onion. Yes. Yes. And, oh, grab the garlic from the, uh, uh. Are those keto donuts? Yes. <laughs> no, they ain't. That's Rob's favorite, Intamins. All right. We'll go grab some garlic because we need the garlic. Okay, go fire up your wok, heat up your oil, put a little bit of oil in the pan. Here we go, we're moving on. What kind of drink would you pair this dish with? I would do a white, not a red. I would do white wine. Sauvignon Blanc. With mac and, with mac and cheese, anything, champagne, anything beer. go. Beer, okay, there you go, Rob's like beer. Because it's comfort food. You don't need no fancy hoity-toity stuff. His spoon. I need a cuchara for the board. <clears throat> a, a spoon. Just a regular a spoon. spoon yeah. I don't get all fancy. Making Christmas dinner with Jen the day before Christmas on Christmas Eve. Yes. <clears throat> so like a big old heaping, more garlic is better for you. More garlic. More garlic. Because you ain't Filipino unless you got garlic and onion. That is like every dish. Garlic and onion is the base to every Filipino dish. Literally. Orlando Girl says, hey, girly, watching you while we drive home from Disney. Hey, 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 hey. I hope you had a wonderful vacation. Oh, I flipped the dang mic again. Sorry, because I was talking, so you can't hear me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hang on, we'll flip the mic again. Um, you didn't flip it yet. Whoops. So many dongles, so little time. Oh, I do need a new microphone. They have the Didi, which is two. It's front and back only, so they have that new mic. I need to get one of those now. All right, and then my top. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, now we've got to do a double portion of this as well because we made the mistake of taking the neighbor's one a couple years ago. Yep. And now they barter for it every year. 
They're like, here, here's a pie. You got any poncet? <laughs> They're like, you got the goods, lady? You got the goods? We'll see which one we'll make, depending on how it rains. I think we're going to need the big one. Okay, saute your onion, half your onion, and your garlic. It's a big old red onion. Big, big old red onion. We're going to save the other one for, like, later. Oh, where's your chicken? Is that both chicken? Yeah. You told me to do both. Or I know, but that's not a lot. They were small things. Strong little chicken. This is all two, two rotisserie chickens. Rotisserie chickens, two of them. Rotisserie. Shredded. Um, it's not a lot, but you can add shrimp, chicken, whatever you want as your protein. We prefer the lemon pepper one, but there wasn't no lemon pepper one. Oh, criollo. We are all about that Cuban flavor today. It's mojo. Yeah, so we got mojo chicken. That's what, that's what Publix got. So that's the hard part. You gotta pre-shred that. Rob shreds all the chicken. Just pre-shred it. I participated. Yes. Oh, it's a lot of like leg work. Like I did that ahead of time. That you did that ahead of time. Getting stuck. Genesis says mojo is delicious. It is delicious. So we did mojo chicken, whatever flavor rotisserie chicken you want. Yeah. What is that? More oil. What kind of oil? Olives, what we got, and have no avocado. We okay. usually use avocado, but we got olive oil it is. Okay, I gotta take these off. It's getting stuck. Do you have any coquito? No. We need to find some Puerto Rican people and make us some coquito. It's that, that Spanish eggnog with a cinnamon mm. in it and the rum. Doesn't Alina make that? No. Oh. I don't think anybody makes eggnog. What the heck? Nobody makes a pizza. We are in South Florida. Who wants to hook it up? Hand over some coffee. No, I mean, I don't think we do eggnog for the for our dinner. Oh, I know, but we, we should go because eggnog. We need is some. Good. Some of that SoCo. I know the girl who owns, her father owns this company. I, I met her in Miami when we went to college. Um, she married a Filipino. She's Chinese, Jamaican. Oh. So many Chinese, Jamaican. Only in Miami. But her, yeah, there's going to be a packet of sauce in here too. You don't need that sauce. Oh, they, oh dear. There's a sauce in there. No? Merry Christmas, Victoria. Yeah, Liasa is just in South Florida. Oh, there it is. I right, don't need that sauce. But this is from Miami. It's a Miami brand. It is made in, yeah, Miami, Florida, 33147. Miami. But I know the girl. But, I mean, any stir-fry mix will do. Any stir-fry mix will do. You're good. I just happen that to. That way you don't have to shred the cabbage and stuff. I mean, you can do it all manual labor. It's a lot more work. work. I'm giving you the down and dirty, you know, lazy American version. time virgin. saver. Yeah, this has um, celery. Carrots, um, red cabbage, green cabbage, and snap peas. So, oh, I got an itch. Dog hair everywhere. Disney Huston says, Merry Christmas, Jen. They're glad uh, to be catching you live. Thank you. It's every year, so this is your first year watching our. I got dog hair. Dog hair. <laughs> Riley. He says she had the mac and cheese and she's in the food coming out. <laughs> Girl, I told you. But I'm telling you, I'm giving you my secret recipe. You're going to be like the star of whatever party you got. You make that mac and cheese, people will be like, they don't know how much cheese is in it, but there's a lot of cheese in it. It's very, very good. Okay. And we're going to add this there because I want me a little raw onion, you know, a little more crunchy. So you just saute it all up just like a regular stir fry. Um, 
Yeah, get yourself a good high quality walk, I'm telling you. Walk is great, works for everything, but you need a walk. Use good oil. I try not to use any vegetable or canola. We use like extra virgin olive oil or avocado, that's it. I'm not trying to die from like vegetable <laughs> or what's the other one? The, the canola, that, that is pure poison. Corn oil, any of that stuff, you don't want any of those. The high heat, there's no oil in those things. Those things are vegetables. <laughs> You want an olive, like olive oil is good for you because it's like your MCT oil, your medium chain triglyceride, you know? Avocado oil. Avocados are favorite. Costco is like, um, you can get them really cheap too at um, Home Goods. Home Goods has a lot of avocado, the big bottles, you know? And um, Evu also, extra virgin. Yeah, there you go, mom. You can add it to your Costco list. You're out of avocado oil. So. Welcome everybody who's just joining us. We have moved on from the mac and cheese to the poncet. Yes. Christmas poncet has become kind of a tradition around here now. Oh, We've yeah. been doing it every year for the last several years. Yes. It's very popular with the it's family. It's a Filipino and, party dish. And the neighbors. And the neighbors were like, fire me. So this is just a little lemon juice. Lemon, like the straight lemon. And um, so soy sauce. Lemon, yeah. Squeezed it. So I'm gonna mix. It's just like anything. It's just soy sauce and lemon juice. You're just putting it in there. Merry Christmas, Bradley. This is that Filipino party dish. It's pans uh, bihon. Um, you go to any Filipino parties. Uh, Martha's had the palabok, which I haven't made. It's the one we had at Jollibee. Remember the palabok poncet that we had there that had the egg and the crushed fish? Yeah. Crunchy I crunchies. I don't think I was a fan. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yes, I like palabok. So I'll make palabok. Well, Bihon's my favorite anyway. This is my favorite. So I think it just tastes delicious. All right, so I've got two. What you do with the noodles, you don't cook it. You just um, soak it. Soak it. You don't need to boil it because it'll fall apart. Um, you're going to need a little bit of water. Just eyeball it. You're gonna have to add water to the mix. So I just get about two cups of water, one and a half cups of water, but you may or may not like, you don't want it to dry out. It will fall apart. So you just add a smidgen of water. It's mainly for this. I already drained it. So you soak it and it comes out like hard in that container. Like it's just like a noodle. Like it's like any like any pasta. It's hard to begin with until you. Yeah, but it. you don't need to cook it because they're so thin. So it's like I like this one's my favorite brand. It's got the dragon on it. It's called Longku, dollar ninety nine for a giant bag. It's actually a pretty inexpensive meal. You don't have to use rotisserie chicken. You can use canned chicken, leftover chicken, leftover. If you have um, lechon or pork or pork loin, um, some bag shrimp, whatever protein you have left at home, just use it. Just saute it and all that, like it's good, you know what I mean? You could just throw it all in, but usually shrimp and chicken is my favorite, um, most parties. But we don't put shellfish just in case somebody's allergic. I would like it with shellfish, but you know. We've done it with shrimp. We did it with shrimp last year, I think. So what you're gonna do, add a little bit of noodle at a time. Oh dear. extra this year. It is firm. Yes, I use cooking scissors. You think I was Korean or something, but I ain't. <laughs> I love kitchen shears. They work for everything. All right. Actually, I might need the thing. This is Merry Christmas from Las Vegas. Oh, hey, Las Vegas. Thanks for awesome. sharing your recipe with us. Yep. likes it with dried shrimp, but that's the Chinese style. Yes, with dried shrimp and um, um, the sausage. You want the Chinese sausage that was there on the buffet? The sausage. Sausage, the Chinese sausage from Cali. That's good too. It's very delicious. It is extra clingy today. The key is I like all my noodles coated. There you go. It's kind 
keep adding. You gotta keep adding noodle. Keep adding noodle. Well, let's just put the whole thing in. It's just gonna be more work to Mix stir. It up. So work out, y'all. Here, why don't you stir? No, I'm holding the camera. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to help. Uh, I am helping. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> you also told me you didn't want me to cook, so. All right. It's work. It is. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't like naked noodles. Like, I need extra sauce on everything. So you're going to have to add more soy sauce. That ain't going to be enough for sure. But just monitor the color. Mickey Blog says, Merry Christmas, Jen, from Mickey Blog, Mickey Travels, Magical News Live, oh, and all the Antonelles. Hi, Nick. Hi, Antonelles. Merry Christmas. Don't worry. I got mac and cheese for Nick. Oh, no, uh, Martha. This is just prep for tomorrow. This is all for tomorrow's dinner. Yeah, we got to Yeah, we got to pre-cut because we're going down south. We're even... We're going at Rob's brother's house for Christmas. She said we're going to have a good but late dinner. Oh, oh, great. That's awesome. No, no, no. We were going to have a good oh, but late dinner. Oh, oh, yeah. I was yeah. telling her, no, this is for tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we're we pre-cooking for tomorrow. Yeah, this is Christmas. We eat at like 5 tomorrow, right? Mom said 5-ish. Something like that. Oh, no. Are we doing Disney After Dark already? Lordy no. Oh, you were asking what kind of drinks go with it? No, Mitch asked, where's the code? Ah, uh, oh, of course it's in the, the liquor cupboard, hello. Sir, I'm tired. Oh, my, my arm heart. hurts. <laughs> Use that little thingy. You get more. Yeah. What little thing? Yeah, the spoon thingy works better. Mom what this thing? Yeah, this pasta fork actually works better. Cause you wanna, you got all of that. Oh, I that one. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You got all of that uncoated noodle. I mm -hmm. uncoated noodle. I got tag Robin. Yes, go white rum. Uh, white rum? Make a rum punch. I like spice rum. Rob likes spice rum, but that's the name. But white rum is like Bacardi and Coke. That's very, very easy. Rum and Coke is easy. I make like fruit punch and rum. Make up like a Bahama Mama. So you would need like white rum, nope. dark rum, maybe even some Myers. Um, ooh. So more. good. Do I need a little bit more liquid? No, you just need to stir it. I might need to turn the heat down too. It's oh, 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 oh. oh, sorry, y'all. Forgot about the peel rod. That peel rod is dead already. I know, Rob. <laughs> Mitch wants to know where the rum is. Alright, there's that delicious ponset. It looks like it's all coated. It looks all coated. Look at me go. I eyeballed that bowl and it was perfect. There's some white sections. Yep. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's it's a good I don't like I've tried different brands. You'll get like the actual Bihon noodle shreds. Remember that? Uh -huh. Like it would fall apart. Like yeah. it literally was too fragile, too fragile. So I switched over to this brand better. I I like this dragon brand. Lanku, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's really good. Yeah, this is a staple. We've cooked it for many, many years now, and yeah, the neighbors will come knocking on the door if we don't give them ponset. They'll be like, where the goods at? We need the good stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she can't fix a microphone today. This is why I need the new mic. So I don't have to keep flipping. Here. 
There we go. No more mic. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Timmy. Is it good, babe? You got it? Um, I don't know that I've got enough flavor to coat it on. Oh, you need more. Okay. Well, that's what I was saying. I thought, All right, I was just I felt checking. Like it's a little dry. Yep, yep. I'm going to make more and I'll move this out of y'all's way so you can keep watching what's going on there. So you just add a little bit more water. A little bit more silver swan, because why? Because that's the one. That's the one. That's a commercial. It's like a crazy Filipino commercial. Mikey Bustos. Mikey Bustos, silver swan. That's the one. I'm adding lemon into the mix this year. Because mm -hmm. you don't get enough. Fresh lemon out of that fake business. No, ma'am. Sorry, did I get you? Yeah. Okay, so find me all the clear spots. So I just put a little water, a little bit more soy sauce, and a little bit more lemon juice right there. That's all white sections. Don't growl at me, young lady. Stir. There you go. Just add more. Whatever, you know, it depends on the noodle too, like how how absorbent it will be. Alright, so we just added more of that stuff in it, which is just water, soy sauce, and lemon mixture. And you're good. Like make sure you see there's the white bits, there's like uneven sections. You just want it perfectly. Oh no, I know. Doing awesome. Oh, Mitch said he had his wrong, just making sure, like he had his apple juice, just making sure Rob had his. <laughs> That's why he was checking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, this is good. Like, it's actually staying one piece, kind of. I probably need to break that up a little bit, though, just because people are going to have a hard time spooning that into them plates. You got to make them vegetables in there. Here, you want the tongs? Right there next to you, I think. Oh, no. Oh, right here. And you got to be Filipino because you have to point with your lips. You go like... <laughs> it's a thing they do. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy things Filipinos do is they point their lips. Oh, my God. You got all that chicken and everything falling. It's all the good stuff, Riley, here. I'll give you some... Oh, my word. Yeah, you making a mess. There's chicken. Uh... Yep. I can hold it so it doesn't travel. Don't growl. It's embarrassing. Of course. You've been cooking since 3 a.m.? Oh my gosh, Timmy. You're done. That's done. Okay. We're done. Turn it off and we'll pack it up. I just took the mic off. I'm tired of flipping it. All right. All right. Here, we're going to go lay it on here. Uh, here, why don't you just pour it in? Come on. Slowly. Oh, you might need that. Or are you just going to wiggle it? Okay. Use both sides. Yep. Okay, let me turn it off. Don't kill yourself. Okay. I got it. Or, oh, you're going to go that way? All right. Yep. Keep on coming. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, we got some crust on there. Oh, dear. We burned it. That's tutong. It's called a tutong. It's good for you. Oh, well, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want the burnt bits. We don't want the burnt things. We might have to rinse that before we start the second one. Just go rinse it. Yep, because it's gonna soak it. Soak for a second. We're gonna cut one more. Yep, we do need the big one. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit into the little one. Oh, we didn't even add the egg. Don't need it though. They're fine. 
You want me to do egg? I can just egg on top. I totally forgot the egg, but egg is easy. We got a frying pan. I need a frying pan. We can add the egg later, can't we? We just lay it on top, right? Yeah, I need to cook it. I'm not cooking anymore. There's no more later. We have no time. We have to cook it all now. Uh, well, I meant after we make the after we make the next batch. Yeah, yeah. We just cook all the egg together. Let the egg go. We'll use that. Yeah, that's enough for whatever we need to do with it. Okay. Yeah, we got to use this. Here, I need to wash it. just add egg on top like little sliced um, I just basically cook a little bit of um, scrambled egg and then I just cut it like cook it really flat and thin and you're gonna make it into ribbons you're gonna cut it into little ribbons on top to just add a little bit more protein to it and then where's the um... and that's what you do You want to squeeze a little bit of lemon on it like when you're actually eating it so I just always put a little extra lemons around so it's good get your lips out of there Miss Thing. a little messy for a party. I usually put green scallions on it too and we're gonna add egg because she forgot the green onions. We're just gonna put some of that on top for color but usually I use green onion too. That's just parsley. Mainly it's just for color because she forgot the green onions. Oops. That is done. You put a lid on it and you go take it to the party. We'll add egg on top later. Alrighty. We are gonna go, yes. Oh dang, hang on. I forgot, here I'm gonna flip you guys over this way. Whoop. All right, we gotta go cut another onion. I totally forgot. We're going to cut more onions, just one more. Um, here, I'm trying to point this down so you can see it. All right, 
sort of, kind of. I am not a professional cook. This is just what I do. <laughs> There's probably easier ways to do things. straight like just kind of like slices and then straight down the middle kind of keep them bigger that's it and then the other half is more like diced done so you got a whole onion Onions and garlic are the base. Oh, honey, can you grab me a fuel rod? Here, or it's in the bag in the bedroom. I need one more. Ooh, can you plug this in over there? One of the USB C needs to be plugged. All right, we're gonna go on to the next thing here. If we have a, uh, I could just prop you guys up on something. Mm, sure, I think I used the thing. Let's see if I can prop you guys up somewhere. Oh, maybe that's too high. Mm, that might work. That might work. Doesn't quite work. see if you can see what I see. Yeah, Calamansi. Yep, we're doing Ponset again. It's everything that just, um, honey, you want to just ma'am this while I start round two. We're doing the same thing again. Consistency is key. So I've got olive oil on the wok. Put it to medium heat. I just need two big heaping spoonfuls of garlic. First, I think questions. So you want people just joining in. It is panset bihon, which is a type of like a noodle dish that we make in the Philippines. Super popular. In the Philippines? In the Philippines, yes. We make it now for Christmas. It's popular. Yes, Timmy Ray, where this is our second batch of panset. We've done two macaroni and cheese and one poncet already, and we're working on the last poncet. You wanna see it? They wanna see it. And this is the mac and cheese. Looking absolutely delicious. Not yet. We can eat poncet, mom, or mac and cheese. What I do? Here we go. I got it. I'm fine. So again, it's P A N C I T, Ruby. Yep, it's in the description box. Copy and paste. Yeah, everything's in there. Elena says calamansi is a small round citrus fruit. We use that a lot here for ponce. It tastes like a cross between lemon orange to yeah. kind of describe it. Yeah. We can't find calamansi here. I knew it will grow in South Florida. We need a calamansi tree. We need to go buy calamansi and, and grow it. 
because calamansi is better than lemon. In a pinch, we use lemon. Okay, yes. he says, I miss eating a regular Portuguese meal. We usually add la guincina to, into everything. La guincina. Yes. So delicious. Very, very delicious. Oh, the Philippines were hit with two big earthquakes today. 6-5 and 6-3. It's like the worst country to have earthquakes and hurricanes and monsoon. They got it all. I'm surrounded by water. That's terrible. So just saute everything. Onions and garlic first. The base to any good Filipino dish. Then your shredded rotisserie chicken. Got that rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken. Bam. Done. Oh, we're doing so good. All right. We're on our last home stretch. It's the last batch. Woo! Crazy. You need to add more oil. You add more oil. Don't be shy. It's olive oil. It's good for you. Silver swan. That's the one. That's the one. And half a lemon. Lemon juice, juice of half a lemon. Well, you're gonna use a whole lemon, but. Oh, that's great, Timmy. He cooked today with his aunt. She cooked for the homeless, so he helped yes. her cook. Is that all the silver swan? Yep, finishing up the silver swan. A little bit of water in it. Water and silver swan. Is that the one we got today? No, that's not oh. one. I was like, dang. You can't tell because it's steamed. I thought we had more, but it was only this much. Oh, okay. It stings, which is the same, so it wasn't actually cold. That was corn swaggled. Onion. This is just a rotisserie chicken. I didn't add any sesame. No sesame at all? To that. Uh-oh. Uh, we're just going to be really careful with the sesame. You're going to just have to stir it good. I'm going to add the sesame to the chicken. I don't like a lot of sesame anyway. Not my favorite, but it adds a little something, something like a little toasted sesame oil. My I let everybody do their own fish sauce, so we go add some. Add some fish sauce. Because you don't need as much because the soy sauce is already salty. I'm not as big into the salty people, people. Water. So just mix all of that up so it's absorbed in the chicken. It's a shredded rotisserie chicken. That's another, like, the more time-consuming area of it is just raw that and shred that chicken. Like, and I ordered you two chickens, but... Well, largely because I was watching TV while I did it. Right. But, you know, you could add shrimp, whatever leftover protein you have to it. You could add sausage, like Chinese sausage. Um, I just do the rotisserie chicken. This is the mojo, not the lemon pepper this time. So... Do a little bit of the soy sauce mixture for color more than anything. All right, and now we're gonna dump the whole thing of the stir fried vegetables. Mm hmm. It's already made. Just trying not to get that sauce packet in here. You don't use a sauce packet. It's just stir fry mix. It's yeah, not, be careful. That stir fry comes with a sauce packet in it. If you just dump it, did we pull the sauce packet out of the last one? I did. Okay. I did. I sure did. I always I made sure because it comes with the sauce packet. Yeah, okay. don't just dump it in there and walk away because there's a packet of sauce in there. Yeah, it's got cabbage, like green cabbage, red cabbage, carrots, celery. And uh, snap peas, which is everything that goes in pot sick. It's perfect. 
You could individually buy all these veggies too, but that's up to you. That's more work for you. Trying to make it as easy peasy lemon squeezy as possible. Lena says, Jen is making me want to have some ponce bijon. Just let it soften from the water. That's all. You don't cook it. It's already cooked. You're cooking it right now. So you just want to rehydrate. Basically, you're, you're rehydrating the noodle. That's a big old bowl. <laughs> all right. Ruby says, next year, I think we should try and order this to eat while you cook. Yes. Martha says her friend makes it with quail eggs. Yeah, you could do, we saw quail eggs at the store today. Mm -hmm. uh, Asian market was popping. I like this brand just because it's, see it's bouncy. It doesn't fall apart. The other kind, the actual like Bihan brand, it just falls apart way too easily. I like me a sturdier noodle that will live up to the stir frying and manhandling that it requires. Katie says, I'm like, she's heating up salad? <laughs> it's stir fry, Katie, stir fry. This is round two, the second mm -hmm. one. That was a stir fry mixture. It just saves you. I mean, you can cut up the cabbages if you want, the carrots, the snap peas. You can slice it up yourself if you don't want to do it all by hand. Absolutely. I'm just trying to save you time. Mitch says he needs a second dinner. Well, Mitch needs to come down one Christmas, or or everybody come up one year and we. Have at our house and we'll cook all this stuff and we can invite more people. Because we cook for an army anyway. We cook a lot so people have leftovers and they can take them home. And that's the whole point of cooking for an army. That way you don't got to worry about for your dinners and lunches for the next couple weeks. Peter gets his, you know, his to go. He'll get his to go. I gotta make sure I, I get some for Nick too because he didn't get any of the mac and cheese last time. I gotta make sure I leave some for Nick because Nick is the mac and cheese connoisseur. Yes, he is. So I gotta make sure he has some of my mac and cheese and then he can give it a, a review. First, a little right behind it. I need this thing because that thing is wearing me out. It's a workout, y'all. It's a workout. It's all upper body. Almost done. I'm so tired. And yeah. we just have to wrap presents. Yeah, that's easy. That's fun. You can sit down for that. You don't have to stand. More onions. Because I like my crunchy. I like the little crunch. I like my onions. That's why I saved the other half. It's that water and soy sauce mixture. And lemon. Riley, please. 
Nobody likes you crazy. <laughs> She's like, but mama, it smells so good. She she ate dinner. I uh, Colby, dinner. I think we got some pies and stuff. We got pumpkin pie. I don't know. Who, are people making desserts, mom? Or bringing dessert? Uh, yeah, I think they have it. It might be flan. Oh, no. Um, she does not come. Dang it! <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just gonna be uh, us and then Sandra's coming. I could have made flan too. I got the Filipino flan recipe. Flan's not just, well, we were under Spain's rule for 333 years. Right, honey? And the Ameri I don't know. Remember we were talking, we were watching the Will Dasevich video today. They looked, the mm. Americans bought it for $20,000. Remember, yep. we were joking. So we were under American rule for 50 years. And Holly almost, says, don't forget the eggs. Yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, that's just a garnish. Here. But if we if we don't use the eggs, it's okay, because then I can try and make some eggnog. You don't have enough for eggnog. There's three eggs. I can make a little bit of eggnog, because I want to try it with the rum. That's why he's hoarding the eggs. Oh, you know what? We have hard-boiled eggs. Duh. Does that work? Because yes. you can't scramble them. It's fine. I'll slice them. Okay. It'll be more like a palabra bihon mixture. Because that palabra uses egg. Well, you need more protein, so it's not all carbs. But. Cheryl says eggnog and rum is good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There's only three eggs. There's three eggs left. So well, I only got a little bit of rum, too, so. Okay. Don't judge me. Oh, you got milk and you got But you'll judge your eyes. Don't make it. All right. Little Riley girl. I'm done. Little Riley I'm tired. girl. Little right. Riley girl. That's done. Ooh. All right. So let me do. Where the scissors at? Oh, right here. Martha says, mmm, palabok bihon, that's my jam. Palabok bihon, and you just slice it and dice it. Do you have an egg slicer, Mom? No, she does not. Yeah, it don't come out as pretty. I'm gonna have to do it by hand. I don't got nice skills like Gordon Ramsay, y'all. I'm gonna try to make it pretty for you. You need a very, very sharp knife for it to be like clean. It's not the sharpest, I can tell, because we're sticking. It will do It's gonna be good. Ruby says wet the knife. Yep. Looks pretty. Like oh, that macaroni and cheese smells so good. I just walked past the oven. Okay, here you want to do this because you do this better. Okay. I'm going to make a um, Well, you have to set that down because you will have to guide it a little bit. Yep. Let me get my tongs. Round two, people. Woo! It's like cooking for an army, like literally. 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 You got your tongs? Or do you want this? No, I would use uh yeah, either one. Move, Riley, move. Oh my god, bring your buns over. Corners, corners, yeah. Ooh, it's really dark on the bottom. There's like sauce all over the bottom. Oh my hand, it's not mixed. Oh uh, we need to put it back in here. 
she didn't mix it good. <laughs> you want to just pour it back in? Yeah, pour it back in. Oh, it's not mixed. I didn't mix it good. I was getting tired. Sorry. Yes. There you go. It was the bottom of the uh, silver swan. That's why it's so dark. That's the bottom of the bottle. Mm. Adds more flavor. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's good, baby. Rob does it good. He does a good job. Look at him go. Last year, I think I made three batches, right, Mom? Yeah. I'm so glad you like it, Lonnie. It's so it's good. Two this year, right? Yes. Sinigang is my favorite dish. It's made with tamarind. Lemon is the American version, but you actually you just buy a mix. There's a mix. The Nor, and we found the gluten-free one, remember? Mm -hmm. The Nor, the Nor Synagogue mix. They sell the Synagogue mix. Synagogue's my favorite food, ask Rob. I make him buy like 10 pounds of baby bok choy, and he sure does, but it's keto, because it's just vegetables, pork, and I use a lot of baby bok choy. I don't even eat it with rice when I'm on keto. It's one of my favorite dishes. I get, the, I use the liempo, which is like pork belly, Anything fatty, like a fatty piece of pork. You can use pork. You can use beef, like the the beef ribs. Um, you can use ribs. You can use any, like, fatty piece because you want it, like, in the soup, you know, and you just put it in the crock pot. I crock pot my synagogue. It's so easy. I saute, like, onion, garlic. I cut up the, the meat. I usually make it with pork, and I need baby bok choy is what I use. Um, it's just a nor. It's just a nor mix. There's actually a synagogue mix, easy peasy, and then you just add the water. And you basically just slow cook that pork for like eight hours or however long it takes. Um, and then you just add the vegetables the last 20, 30 minutes, and I just eat bowls of that. Synagogue don't last in our house. We eat it so fast, but I'll probably make it again. It's so easy. So good. Yeah, they use the lemon. It, it's, I think you're thinking of a Thai soup. The Thai, the Thai soup has the lemon grass. The tom yum, tom yum soup. I think. Hang on, let me get my tongs. Ready? Yep. Yeah, the tom yum has the uh, lemon. Yeah, sinigang is. You can make it with guava or tamarind, but original is mostly tamarind. Um, but you can use lemon too, cause. My uncle in San Francisco, he made it with lemon before my aunt, when they were living in, I guess they didn't have um, the mix. Ooh, this one's like overflowed. We can eat some of this if y'all want. You want some ponce, Mom? I got ponce for days. Here, I'll let this pork. So I don't know. That's not a pork. Nice. See, I'm tired. My brain hurts. Nope. Still sticking. What you need is one of them Cutco knives. Yeah, that, that's not. Oh my god, the mac and cheese is almost done. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. Turn it off. I said, it's too long. Okay. Take it out, take it out. It's too, it's too done. It's too done, actually. That one's overdone. Or it's just right. Uh, uh, you need another one. Hang on. Hang on the mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, we, I always get messy. Um, can you move that? Yep, yeah, hang on. I'm going to set these on. Hang on, y'all. Ponce it. Oh. Those cheese slices didn't melt. Oh, they didn't? I don't know, shenanigan or... Oh, uh, here, ASMR coming, ASMR coming. Shh. Hey, Elena. 
actually, there it is. Ooey, gooey, and you tell me, homecoming who? Exactly. Listen to it. Here, we're gonna put them together. That way we can get a good picture. See the cheese melted funny. <laughs> they stayed crunchy like that. Uh, I'm a, I like the more burnt version. That's just me right there. I need the crust. Everybody's right here. I got Rob, Riley, Mama, Sashi. You heard your name, Sashi? Yeah? Okay. We got Ponset. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Mean Girls, one of my favorite movies. Oh my God, we blew up the kitchen, but it's good. It came out different. There's my mac and cheese. Wait, listen to it. It's making noises. Yes, ma'am. See, not as much. This cheese was better. What was this, a regular cheddar? What did you lay on top? Regular cheddar, right? Mm -hmm. See, the Velveeta didn't melt all the way through. Oh, no, no, no. This was Velveeta. Yeah, the Velveeta. This was the Velveeta slices. The Velveeta melt belts better, so it was an experiment. Mm. Yes. But, yep, that's my mac and cheese. It's very, very, very delicious. We got one done, and I'm trying to finish... Yeah, this is the Ponset. I made two batches tonight. I just used hard boiled egg, y'all. You're eating a carb coma? I hear you, girl. I hear you. Oh, I got some of uh, the cracker nuts. I love these Nagaraya from the Asian market. One of my favorite snacks. And then Rob's favorite, Entenmann's. <laughs> I made me an iced coffee. It was delicious. But yeah. That's ketchup. That, that didn't melt that good. That's the regular Publix cheese. It looks kind of cute, though. They got little burnt bits That's to it. That's the thick cheese slices, though. Mmm. Still looks like it's delicious. Mmm. Mm -mm. Maybe. Mm -mm. Don't you judge me. We're not tasting, Mom. We're just but showing you come them. Look at it. Because one's Velveeta. The Velveeta side worked better, so we're going to make sure the Velveeta lays on top. It's for Instagram, Mama. Facebook. Mama got a new 12 Pro Max, too, so we're rocking that good, good camera. Yeah, shrimp crackers, we have them in Florida. We don't have as many Asian people here. Literally, is a struggle. There's, like, the Asian market's an Asian market. It's not a Filipino. We don't, isn't there one Filipino restaurant here, like, one? Somebody told us about it, remember? I think you have one in Palm Beach. I've been to Pegasus. They do karaoke in Fort Lauderdale. Hopefully, they have more. Um, I have a couple in Orlando. There's actually more Filipino restaurants in Orlando than South Florida. See, growing up... Are these here, both mac and cheese? Yes. Yeah, so that's the Velveeta on the top, and this was just the public slices. So apparently the Velveeta works better. It was an experiment. And then we just used the hard-boiled eggs. Because Rob's going to make eggnog out of those three eggs. He's going to commandeer them all. I'm going to... Oh, right here, Mom. This one's prettier. I haven't finished oh. the... The touches with that one. You can add more green to that one too, boo boo. I am handling all the food. I haven't finished it yet. Mm. Is it good? <clears throat> like I said, you can judge me with your judgy eyes because I cook by sight and I just know it. Like, that's why it's hard. <laughs> I don't have like one exact tablespoon of this. I just eyeball it. But it actually works, and it's delicious. Am I right or am I right? It's delicious, right, honey? I don't think I've ever cooked you a bad meal. So, 
you know. What you're watching me? No, I'm like watching, watching yourself. Eat. I'm watching my my little fingers go in there and. Uh, well, that's the one that we keep here. One stays here or whatever. We're gonna share it with the neighbors. Well, I can slice it up and put it in a little. one. If we have a little one, mom, we got plenty that we. No, can... we don't have any more containers. Yeah, we do. Well, these are big ones. Right, but we, we don't have any little ones for neighbors. Okay, that's a little skinny. Yeah. See, we can put some of that, honey. Put it right here. You want to ladle some of that out for the boys? Oh, are we not taking? That's going to Alina's. Oh. The rest of that we keep. I don't. I don't know that we need to take this much to. We I don't keep, think we, we need to do. We keep one here. And we give one to the boys. And we give one to the boys. Oh, we're not take. We take maybe a little bit to them. We're we're taking six dishes down there. Oh. They're doing a turkey and a ham. And I, I usually we give we give the neighbors a whole pan, and they eat it. Oh no, I know they do. Yeah. Take it. I'll just because that's fuller. We could divvy it out and and save some Are for they us. Do they want a fresh one? Yeah, here. Take it to the boys next door. Let's see. Well, let's see if they're up. We got the neighbors. The boys live it next door. Trust me, they'll come after me if I don't. Yeah, I think that one's more saturated because it had more. It's good. See if they're still up. Tell them you got something for them. Oh, they'll come out here and knock down bushes for that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we get the drive-by usually. They'll be like, you got the stuff? <laughs> All right. They will drive by and get their pawn set. They need their pawn set, y'all. They will, they will let's hunt see, me let's down. See, let's see if he's still up. Yeah, they will hunt me down to the ends of the earth. Well, I'm not going to put all of this in there because I think we're going to eat some of it. And then I'm going to redress it. Oh, Lord. We survived. We survived. We made it. <laughs> Is this gravy for us, Mama, or do you need me to make it? Uh, that's gravy for us to take down there. Okay. Because we're frying the turkey, so we, can't, oh. we don't have any drippings for gravy. Yes! I love fried jerky. Yes. Fried jerky is the best. I want ham. Boy, there's there going to be ham. ham too. I was going to take a ham, but they have ham. So. Ponset! Yes, ma'am. Lonnie's like, I'll take some to go. Cheddar! <sighs> They're frying the turkey, y'all. They're frying the turkey. I'm happy, but there's my mac and cheese. <laughs> Everybody's like, hey, I'm sending my address to you deliver. <laughs> Done. Yeah, we just got to heat and run. So this is the Velveeta, and this is the Publix Cheddar. Velveeta wins. I did it. We did it differently. It didn't melt all the way through. We had to use Slissies because we were not a shredded. So you just got to improvise. The Velveeta, it's that the nice crunch. When I expect mac and cheese, I need to have the crunch. You see there's crunch? And then we got our Paula Dean um, cornbread casserole right here. It's done. We're just going to pack everything up, reheat it tomorrow, and we're ready to rock and roll. Everybody wants to know when they're coming over. Well, we got the tree. I'm going to give you a little tour. If you didn't get to see Thanksgiving Christmas Village where the tree wasn't up yet. Riley Ray, you stay right there. There's Riley Ray. She's my baby girl. I know. Mama's so far away. So we got the tree. You can make it, Sherry. Girl, you got this. It's easy. We got four houses on top. Um, and then we got more Christmas village over here. This is our tradition. Because Riley is so far away from her mama, but she's in jail. She can't come out here because she likes to poop on mom's carpet. She's a bad, bad girl. 
So she's banned. We're showing the Ohana Mom's Village. Calm yourself, sweetie. Uh, it's 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 pitiful. She is uh, she has a lot of separation anxiety because I'm a whole three feet away from her. She's better off like if I'm not home, I'm not home, and nobody's home. But if I'm in the house and she can't be like right next to me, she'll cry. But. Oh, you didn't get to see her? I'll show her again. She's in prison. Hi, baby girl. Yes. Oh my gosh, come here. You're pitiful. Come here, come here. Oh my God. She's, I have to carry her because she's spoiled. She's spoiled. Yes. Don't poop on the carpet. Grandma gonna beat your butt. Daddy gonna beat your butt. Yeah, mom collects this Christmas village. I don't think she's gonna mix and match. I need to start my own collection, yes. This is the specific Christmas village because there are different runs. There's a Mickey one, but it's like a specific... It's just Christmas village, right, mom? Not Alpine village? Yeah. It's the Christmas village, yeah. Snow Village, sorry, sorry, because there's different, yeah, these are what Bing's is the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, grandfather clock. So mom got the new, the mayor, the mayor came into town, and which one was the new piece? The, the mayor's mansion. No, the, the bed and breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry, the bed and breakfast, the one in the center on the top. Belinda's? That's new? Okay, that's the one we bought this year. Yeah, and the tree farm. Oh, tree farm. The front one all the way to the right. Oh, oh, the tree farm. Okay, these were the new pieces for this year. This is where we went to that store. Right, and we, and we added the mayor this year. And the mayor is new, he's handing. Hey, don't you dare. I'm gonna beat your little behind. Well, she's crying. You either hold her because she's having separate. All right, we'll go with Daddy. Daddy says you're being. Ay, ay, ay. She's crying, so make sure you give her attention, though. Then she won't cry. She's such a crybaby. She, she's mama's girl. She's too much. But we love her. <laughs> she just gets separation anxiety. I'm trying to show everybody mama's stuff. She got her own Disney clothes, yeah. She is. She poops on the... Mom just got the carpet clean because she just um, pooped on it on Thanksgiving. She just... Bad. I think because once the dogs poop on it, like, they doesn't matter how they get it deep clean, it's still in there. So this is Mom's Village. This is what we come down to. Re I was very happy. I mean, that's the one good thing about 2020. Yeah, it sucks. So, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs, including got furloughed. But I'm able to come down for the holidays this year. Both holidays. Usually, I work every Thanksgiving, every Christmas. We usually end up doing Christmas early, like on the 22nd or the 23rd. So, I, it's not lost on me that I'm appreciating the fact that I'm able to come down for actual Christmas this year. Yeah, this is the new one and the mayor and then the tree farm. That was added this year. And then there's more over here. There's more stuff. More stuff. Actually, Rob knows where all of these go. He's the one that climbs the attic and sets it all up and all of that good stuff. So, here, I'm going to show you this picture. This is so funny. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that handsome man? Oh, the car with, oh, the blue car? Sure, Ruby. The house with, what am I do? House, oh, this one, yeah. Sure, we'll go slow. There's this one. <laughs> right, everybody starts laughing. He's got, I told you Rob had the Bieber hair before Justin Bieber was even alive, okay? Justin Bieber was just a twinkle in his parents' eye. Yeah, that Bieber fever. Oh, is it your house? Ruby says that this is her house. 
The one with the blue car, honey? Oh, yeah. Ruby says her house looks like this. Oh. Really? Yeah. It's so cool. Oh, you have your tree in the round room. Is that mommy kissing Santa Claus? Oh, man. It is. There's puppies on their front yard. Nice. This is the historic site or something. I'm trying to get in there without whacking the other pieces. So I got to be really careful. That's the mayor. He's new this year. Where the kids? Nice, Zach. That's amazing. Congratulations on getting approved for a service dog. I don't know. Now we got two puppies. I've got no mac and cheese here. There's no mac and cheese here, ladies. <laughs> yeah, I think I am missing one, honey. It is floating a little bit. I think I did lose a, a, a weight off of that back. It floats a little. Uh-oh, something fell down, honey. Huh? I didn't break it. One of the, the, the jangles fell off the house. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's been there. Okay, well, I was like, I didn't do it. It's broken. It's so it wouldn't get lost. Oh, oh, okay. I'm like, it lose. wasn't me. I did not do it. Oh, there's a teddy bear in the window. So cute. How much is that bear? And the window. window Parsons. And then you have all the townspeople. Yeah, Rob knows where everything goes. He lays it all out because he remembers where everything goes. No, we set it up a little different over here. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm like, I thought you just knew. I'm like... Because typically we put the new piece at the center. Oh. Uh, so we change the layout every year because we put the new piece in the center. Okay. Yeah, and Mom, don't forget you have to take this off before you put it in the box. Oh, the okay. steeple? Yeah. And then what do you got to re-glue the little tinsel thing? Because that... Oh, steeple comes off. Yeah. If wow. you put it in the box without taking that off, you'll break it. You'll break it. Yeah, they're very fragile. But I love that store that we went to. They loved it, too. That Christmas shop. Mm -hmm. Ruby wanted to I'm move sure in. The ones over there. Oh, no. I haven't even gone there. I'm just trying to go slow. Because Ruby said, go slow. I want to see. I want to show you guys a real little thing. A lot of puppies. Don't mind the puppies. Oh, there's uh, Mrs. Claus. We, yes, we do. She's right. Mama's right. It's overflowing. Eat some of it. And we got the snowmen people over there. Hey, snowmen family. Um, and then we got more snowmen family over here. I don't think it went up the wall. It's just staying up there this year. Uh, and then there's more like Christmas little people here. They're just random little cute little doohickeys and there's a sleeping little mouse with the cheddar cheese or cheddar cheese that looks like a biscuit what sure don't hurt my feelings can you show rob been here all night oh we're showing rob again <laughs> there's riley What are you doing, Rob? Mm. I'm making you a plate of pasta. Yep. I gotta put my bracelets back on. They were getting stuck, so. So that's how the mac, the mac and cheese ended up. Yeah, that came out better because it had extra soy sauce in it. It was the end of that bottle, so it's extra gooey. Oh, yeah. I need more lemon. I'll cut more lemon. There's the mac and cheese, people. Yes. Oh, that's so sad. That makes me sad. Oh, there's still shallots in this. I thought it was empty. There's lemon right here, babe. Yep. Oh, my gosh. We made a whole plate right here. Oh, that's awesome, Sherry. I wish you could have gotten it. It's a great collection. 2020 stole all your money, girl. I know. I'm praying for you that the cruises will start soon. And you and Josh, 
so that way you, you guys can get your content. Are you begging over there, beggar girl? I know, don't mind my mess. I'm going to go take that out. There's food now. Yep, they're hungry. I've been cooking all day. <laughs> I'm tired. But, okay. All right, we'll do dinner. I'm going to show you guys, like, the rest of the Christmas village. And then we can eat. There's this stuff. Yes. It's all christmas out. I'm just doing the quick tour, quick tour. There's Santa. Wasn't Santa new too? Huh? Wasn't Santa new, the flying Santa? No. Oh, you no, just... We've had it for years. Oh, okay. There's the tree. And then there's more houses up there. I was given a quick tour. Oh, it's dark in here. How do I turn on the lights? Your lights in here? Oh. Is there lights for the pool, Mom, or no? Uh, yeah, it's over here. Oh. Um, and the lights around the outside are um, remote. They're not working. Oh. All right, we're going to give you guys a tour. Yes, you do. There's Nemo fish. Rob doesn't like to swim in the wintertime. And then there's the world-famous mango tree back here, the one that I always tell you guys about. Uh, yep, the hot tub is right there. Don't fall in, please, Riley. Yep, the, the, it's easier to heat up the tub. Yeah, it's pretty. With, it has a hot tub and a pool, and usually the fountain runs at a certain time to circulate the water. Riley hates the pool. It's terrible. Um, yes, pool and jacuzzi. We just heat up the jacuzzi usually. Now it's got a pretty big backyard, but there's the world-famous mango tree, and I can't really see it, but that's that mango tree that gives us the delicious mangoes. That we need to take with us to Orlando. <laughs> but yeah, that's the backyard. But anyway, I will go see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. We're going to go watch more Christmas movies. Come on, Riley. Let's say goodbye. But yeah, that's the little mini house tour. Cute. Mm. Who are those good looking people? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, there's more good looking people. Hey, who are those people? There you go. <laughs> who are those people? Oh, yeah, cute. Who are those people? Who are those people? Oh, there's Rob. Oh, that was her other puppy, Shayla, before she passed away. She was another Australian Shepherd. That was Rob. Just before LASIK. <laughs> Good looking people. Who are those people? I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Who is Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So, yeah, they're natural. That's oh natural, yes. It's not bottled, right, honey? That's natural blonde. What? Ruby says you're so blonde. I'm like, yeah, they were little, little blonde boys. I said, Mom's blonde. <laughs> it's natural. All right, Riley, come on. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Riley Bay, come here. All right.
Oh, wait, <laughs> she's being a little goat. All right, sit. Oh, okay, she wants to say goodbye. All right, Riley, say so now it's your turn to make some magic. Comment, like, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye, y'all. Have a Merry Christmas. Good night, one and all. Now it's your turn to make some magic. Comment, like, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Love you, Oana. Sweet dreams. Santa's coming.